here to watch the round table on video mix with Street Eat every Saturday, 1 p.m. Channel 11.5 Miami, Channel 40.4 Atlanta, www.videomixtv.com. Tune in and turn up. Turn up. That, 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 big, that, big that, video, that David part. Banner. Big tune, did, 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 David Banner, 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 Banner. We back, man. Happy Saturday to everybody tuned in right now. I hope you called a friend and told a friend that we live, man. I hope you let them know right now. Here. Somebody, they let don't know. know. Yeah, man. Had to play that David Banner, man. We we talking a little bit about what's going on in the country today. Giving you some information. I still got my little challenge out there, so make sure you do pay attention. The challenge is if you got a kid in your neighborhood or a child that you see every day that is not yours, I want you to help them out this week. Get them some notebooks, get them some crayons, some pencils, surprise them with a book bag, something out of the ordinary that you would not regularly do. That's my little challenge to everybody out there. If you see a kid or know a kid that about to go back to school, set them up with something, man. Buy them a, a pair of kicks, man. They don't got to be Jordans. Do something nice. Take them to get a haircut. Good something gesture. Simple. Good gesture. Good gesture. I'm just throwing that out there, man. You ain't got to listen to me if you don't want to. But if you're thinking about it and you're like, you know what? That sounds like something I could do. Do it, man. Put $5 in a kid pocket. Say, go get some lunch. Yeah. Simple, man. Something small. Yeah. Ice cream truck, man. Treat the block. But we're talking about a lot of things going on in the country right now. We're playing a lot of political videos or a lot of strong message videos. Message! That, that's so ironic that it's like hitting home now to a lot of people of what's going on. Um, right now with the monuments that are being taken down or spoken of being taken down or do you think we should take them down we want to know your topics on that and if you just chime in give me some two cents do you think we should be caring about having old confederate monuments up and out there man i think we should be going into a yeah, lot more wonder, deeper I wonder, directions i wonder if it matters if they even be up or if they're taken down is it gonna even change well, that's the whole thing like some of these monuments took years and effort to put up so I, it's like well, a lot of people don't even like even know what they are they don't even know or they just until people get you know know, they're accepting of them yeah until people get educated about them then they're like what that statue's about what exactly and then they're like he had how many slaves and hung how many people yeah take that down but you know it's up we're still just trying to make it in this world as black people man (laughs) plus, plus another thing you know when they be having these crazy rallies and protests and stuff like that that's been going on you know Yo, how would they, you feel? They, they use these little monuments as like weapons and they become, you know, just like anything, a tree. I just don't know how I would feel because I, as a kid, you know, coming in Chicago, learning about slavery, you, you learn about it kind of like through watching movies and you've seen there, there was this thing called the Ku Klux Klan. If, if this is not in your everyday life, you learned about it through movies or news. And yeah, if you, you heard about if you, the Klan if you don't and you experience saw it, it experience or you heard it old stories of Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and da-da-da. So it's like, okay, that was the past, as you thought. So how would you feel in 2017 just coming out the corner store and you see a bunch of white people with torches coming? on your school campus yo my heart would start pounding son like i start thinking of every movie i saw with lynchings and hangings and and plantations and go ahead boy go get me some water and come back and chop if this I, tree if down. i came out of a corner store or wherever and i'm, I'm like are we out. going back to that because if we are i'm killing everything so I'm like, I, I can't take it. We're already back, back to that. that. That's the thing. We're already back to that. I'm talking about on that major level. I don't, I don't, we're not on the chopping block you being know, sold right now. If we're going back to that, man, we're back I'm to, having a problem. We're back to the Jim Crow era right now. No, we never Worse left. Than That's that. the whole thing. We never left that era. It's not like we're, I'm talking about going back to a real formal slavery. Like, this is property. This is your Negro. This is your Negro. It's, the, the, it's called the prison system. The prison system. Oh, That's man. Slavery. Prison. That is that is that is the slavery of right now, prison, man. Prison y'all slavery. chime in, man. Let me know what y'all think. Are we just talking and babbling? Shout out to everybody that's incarcerated right now, man. Metro West, bro. You know what I mean, bro. I'm telling you right now, I don't even want to be depressed today. Flow. I'm too happy and too live, but we this is lit. the topic. This yeah. is the topic. I don't like. Call us up, man. You see the numbers, man. Three zero five nine three eight zero five zero seven Miami. ATL 404-474-2642. Chime in on the Street League Roundtable Talk discussion right now. Slug, it, it's going Slug. down. Slug, we know you checked it live. You already know Lil Heat. We already know you checked it live. You feel me? 
Shout out to everybody who's watching at the barbershops right now, man. Shout out to everybody who's getting ready for that day to bar later. Shout out to everybody who's going to get ready to go to their kids' football game this weekend. Yeah. You know what it is, a lot of football. And a lot of good things going on. a lot of great on, things going man. on. There's a lot of good things going on. Let's keep it's the good sunny things days. Going. It's a sunny day in South Florida. And I know it's looking right in ATL, too. It's a lot of football games. People are watching us with their tablets. Make sure you log on, yeah. on at www.videomixtv.com and select a city, ATL Miami, broadcasting live simultaneously. But I want to let y'all know, man, if you got anything going on in your community, in your city, Make sure you do hit us up if you want to promote with Video Mix. You got your music, you got your video, you got a barbershop, a salon, you a mechanic, whatever you're doing. Make sure you do hit us up at that promotion site, yeah. Video Mix TV. What's the what's the website for the for the promotions? The email. The email? Yeah, give them the email. The email is at sales at videomixtv.com. You got that? Sales at videomixtv.com. Make Easy. sure you do hit us up because we are here to help you promote your own business Best and make yourself. yourself grow. So if you believe in yourself, hit us up, man. Let me take a call real quick. Caller, you live. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, man? What's going on with you? I'm doing good. I just wanted to say I don't care about the monuments coming down. And I think all black people should not care about it because if we're not there then it'll just be a group of white people who'd like it and a group of white people who don't like it and they can fight each other <laughs> i kind of i kind of feel you man i'm i'm, I'm kind of torn in between this and like i said i don't know if it's my fault for I already know how to duck and dodge and get through the system so i don't care i don't i don't go outside and walk straight i have to duck and dodge and i'm used to it so worrying about monuments i'm like come on man there's other things going on you feel me well i'm, I'm having a lot of uh, static on my end i got the tv down but i could barely hear you through the phone okay 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 I'm, I'm saying like i understand where you're coming from with the let's not worry about these monuments let's like move on and and do other things yeah because i feel that if there is a neo-nazi group they want us to be out there trying to peaceful protest so they can run a car and flip one of our brothers or sisters and kill one of us. They no, already, we don't want to even be there. They doing it. And there is a group. Yep. They are out there. We already know it. I'm so just we trying don't to need say to make be, sure they don't come my way. You heard? Right, exactly. I feel like that's more effort we need to prepare and get together like y'all was saying at these football games and stuff that's good for kids. Helping the kids like y'all was saying earlier do something for a student. But peaceful protest we done with that. It's not 1960. Exactly. I think that's going to just be different groups and, and cliques out there for their own reasons of what this whole argument is about. There's going to be a group of people who just don't even care. They're just strapping up and getting ready because y'all right. looking crazy. Right. They coming out there with guns and you out yeah. there with a sign. That's it. That's it, bro. Y'all looking crazy and I'm going to be strapped up and ready. That's all I'm saying. I don't even know what the argument's about anymore. Don't come this way. Hey, you need to put that on the shirt. Y'all <laughs> arguing, I'm scrapped up and ready. Yeah. <laughs> One love, man. It's Woody Classic, Carver Ranch. Hey, Woody Thank Classic. Shout out to the whole ranches Yo. out there. Brock County, what it do? You. Call us up anytime, ranches baby. Just check, yeah. Hey, shout out to the ranches, man. I, I, I rock with the ranches, man. Shout out to everybody over there. Call the ranches. Woody Classic, I see you, man. Appreciate the call, man. I want to hear more from y'all, man. Let me know what y'all really think. Are we worrying about monuments and statues? You know they say they say I they, understand the point. Go they, ahead. They say they doing a whole bunch of rallies this weekend though. But I saw that. What? I don't know, man. Rallying I, for what? They talking about they got permits to do it too. <laughs> listen. Listen. Yo, listen. I, I didn't know you had to get a permit to do a rally, dog. Listen, like, I'm not the most perfect the person out there. You need a permit yeah. to do a melee? Yeah. Wow. A, a giant mosh All pit. All of that. All of that. The clan yeah. gets their permits. They know what they're doing. So, so when they be doing their rallies out there, they say they got a permit. They got a yeah. permit for it. Yes. Street, right? I mean, you know, I'm just trying to educate the people as well as myself because, you know, I turn on TV and I see melees and I don't know Listen, what. I'm not one for marching. I'm not one for rallies. I'm not one for none of that. I'm falling into let's get strapped up and prepared and keep these people away from us. You know what? But since it's a good day already, I think we're going to go ahead and request and go ourselves into this video right now. I like this one, Ice Cube, man. Ice Cube. It's Saturday, man. Today's a good day. It's the round table. Aren't you tired of watching reruns of ridiculousness, Catfish and Teen Mom? 
or paying for channels you don't even watch. Get your favorite music videos delivered to your TV absolutely free 24-7. No internet, cable, or satellite service required. In some locations, you can get more than 100 channels of crystal clear digital TV for free. Yo, get at them! For more information, log on to VideoMixTV.com. Also, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at VideoMixTV. <laughs> VideoMixTV. Tune in and turn up.